Welcome, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, everyone, to the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one inspirational book coach, and I have taught hundreds of women how to successfully write their books and generate a revenue, and that's something that I can teach you also. So share this broadcast out with your friends, and because you never know who is thinking about writing a book, and they just don't know where to start. And we have some very interesting conversations on the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. It's more than, you know, just writing a book, because there's more to writing a book than just writing a book, okay? So don't forget to hit the share button now. So you know the theme for this month. All we've been talking about is building self-confidence for authors. Building your self-confidence. Thank you for joining me today. And the topic that we're going to talk about today is increasing your influence as an author. Increasing your influence. Now, aspiring author, let me tell you. Your influence will automatically begin to increase when you come into the realization that you have worked, okay? You have to come into that realization that you are worthy. You know, you can't go through life just dragging. You can't do that. You must display some energy because I'm gonna tell you, you cannot fake energy, okay? You cannot fake energy. Too many times I see people not even considering that they are worthy. They don't even consider themselves. They don't even see themselves as having any worth. And, you know, that's reality. That is true. So let me give you an example, okay? And you may have heard me uh, talk about this uh, at, at one time. There was a story that I told you about a woman who I had met years ago at this event. And our conversation had reflected around her booklets. Now, she had mentioned to me that, you know, she had distributed various booklets, but she had withheld some vital information because she didn't want anybody to steal her, her ideas, okay? Now, there are ways to protect your intellectual property. But today we're not going to address that because I'm talking about, you know, you and your work. Now, what she did, thank you for joining me today. Um, she saw work in her ideas, but not in herself. She didn't see work in herself because if she, she had seen her work, she would have known that she was able to produce far beyond what she had already written. She would have been able to see that. You are supposed to see that everything that you create has the power to influence because you have worked. You don't produce any junk, okay? You should know this about yourself. You should know this. If you created something one time, then you can create it again. That's why I always tell you to live your truth and write your truth. Thank you for joining me today. You know, be your authentic self. Never try to copy somebody else or pattern your life behind somebody else. You can only duplicate from your own well, okay? And that's power there. That's if you want to change the trajectory of not only your life, but the lives of others. Because there's an energy there. There's a power there. There's an influence there when you be your authentic self. Okay? You and your passion, your expertise, your education, your experience, you know, 
They're yours. No one can ever steal that from you. No one can ever take that away from you. The only thing that you could do to stop that from going forward is sit, the, sit down on your brilliance and not move forward. Because let me tell you, thank you for joining me today. <clears throat> Excuse me. You create from your inner core. And your inner core are items that you, you're drawing from. Okay? You have to see your work. You have to believe in yourself. Or if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you? Who's going to believe in you? And you know, the sad thing about all of this is, how do you expect to influence others if you are divided and you don't know your worth? Thank you for joining me today. How are you going to influence others if within yourself, you know, you're divided. There's no power there. There's no energy there. You know, there are people that see cars, they see houses, they see clothes, they see purses, they see shoes, you know, they see airplanes, they see all of these things having more work than they do. No, no. Now, the person who created it, they have the work. So when you create something, you got to see yourself as worthy. All these things are, that were created are ideas that they put a price tag on. And the same for you. Your ideas. You know, you put a price tag on those things. Because you created them out of your well, your work. You are worthy. And when you know your work, that increases your influence. Now, if I ask you, what is your intent of, of your message? What is the intent of your message? The majority of you wouldn't be able to even tell me. And why not? Why not? Thank you for joining me today. The reason being, you just wanted to write a book. And you don't even see the value and the intent of your message to story up your audience. Thank you for joining me today. So how do you influence, increase your influence? Well, that's, that begins with you embracing your worth. You have to embrace your worth. Ladies, let me tell you, you have a treasure chest of gems to bring value to your idea or there's a lot on the inside of you. Become the expert that your audience is looking to connect with. Show up and present the answers that they need to overcome their challenges. Provide those things. Same with your expertise. Someone is struggling. Someone is struggling with something that you already know. Something that you could accomplish even with your eyes closed. Y'all, it's time to get paid. It's time to get paid. Ladies, let me tell you. Ladies of influence. That's why I'm going to call you. Authors of influence. Show up for your ideal audience. And move them into their next level. And when you do that, your influence will increase. Your influence will increase. You know, a lot of times, people get it mixed up with what they've been through. And they identify those situations and circumstances as, as they work, whether they have worked or not. A lot of times they decrease their, their work because based on the situation and circumstance. But I want to tell you, all the hell that you've been through, it's time to get paid for that. It's time to get paid because you can't take anybody where you haven't been. But if you've been there, and you have come out on the other side. You should, certainly can point the way to, for others to come out victorious also. So think about that. It's time for you to get paid. It's time to move into your next level by moving your audience into their next level. It's time. You have to go forth 
where your audience can believe that they could win. They could win. Where they see themselves on the other side of that situation and that circumstance. Serve your audience well. I'm going to tell you, everything starts with you. So get in touch with your gems that are waiting to be unleashed. Those things inside of you, those treasures. Remember? Your experience, your expertise, your knowledge, all of those things. Get in touch with who you really are. See your worth. And in seeing your worth, you know, you will increase your influence. You will increase your influence. Now, we have a powerful tool that can help you change the way that you're thinking of yourself. You'll begin to see yourself as having worth and having endless solutions to solve problems. And it's an ebook called Unapologetically You. A 30-day transformation to winning. And you can get that book by going to bit.ly forward slash me the real you. That's bit.ly forward slash me the real you. So connect with your audience. See them. See for them. Put it this way. See for them what they can't see for themselves. Serve your audience well. But most importantly, get to know your worth, who you really are. And again, you could get that ebook, Unapol Unapologetically You, A 30-Day Transformation to Winning, by going to bit.ly forward slash meet the real you. And I hope that this broadcast has brought value to you. And I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with me on the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. And I invite you to tune in the next time. Don't forget to share this broadcast out with your friends. I look forward to seeing you on the next broadcast. Remember, this is your time. This is your season. This is your turning point. So have a great rest of your day.